Hello everyone and welcome back to Christian Hip Hop Chat, also known as CHH Chat. I am your host, Garrett Broder. Today is the podcast where we talk everything and everything Christian Hip Hop related. Hello everyone and welcome back to CHH Chat. I'm your host, Garrett Broder. And today we're going to be talking about Tadashi, one of the original, I guess you can call it, Christian rappers, Christian hip-hop rappers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and he basically started off with Lecrae, the guy who really revolutionized Christian hip-hop as a whole. And I am a huge fan of his, personally. Uh, he's been one of my favorites for a long time. Uh, he's actually the second Christian hip-hop artist I ever listened to. Um, Lecrae being the first. What's nice about Tadashi, though, is he has a lot of... Um, background with Lecrae because he is, he's done so many songs with him. He's been friends since college with Lecrae. So that's really cool. Um, they've been like with, they've been with each other in the same, uh, record label for as long as reach records has been around. Um, him, Tripoli and Lecrae are like the front runners of reach records. Maybe not anymore with Andy Minio and other rappers, a part of reach. Like Holvey or another is another example, but um, back in like the early two mid two thousands, mid to late two thousands, it was Lecrae at number one, and then Tadashi and um, Trip Lee running neck and neck alongside Lecrae. Anyways, today I'm talking about Tadashi, like I mentioned, and he is someone I personally look up to a lot, as he comes from a really his background is really interesting because the. Not in the typical sense of a realm of a person comes from. He's also, at least like Lecrae, where he comes from a really hard background. Hard background, excuse me. Um, but he's very interesting, and his music is very powerful. And his voice is just incredible, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite, um, I guess, rap voices in general. Not just in the Christian hip-hop field, but like uh, mainstream rap, like with Drake and other people like that. Or Christian rap with like NF, Lecrae, um, Holby, all these guys, Andy Mineo. But with all that being said, Man Up by Tadashi and the Reach Records crew is what really got me into Tadashi. That in the song, we're well, not just Tadashi, into Reach Records. The song got me into Tadashi, into Tadashi was Dum Dum. It's the very first song I ever heard by someone other than Lecrae, um, Christian rap related. And it was a, it's just a bop. I'm sorry. I, there's no other word to use for that situation. Uh, it's just incredibly well done. And Tadashi kills it. Uh, Lecrae, of course, is in the song because it's not a typical Reach Records song that's good, with, uh, that's considered good without Lecrae in it. But very, it's very well done. I think Tadashi is the reason why it exceeds my expectations of a, a normal Tadashi song. Um, is not because Lecrae is in it, which a lot of people say, like, oh, Lecrae carries the song. No, I think, personally, it is Tadashi, because his tone is so, like, he's, he's got really a hype tone, where Lecrae, and for that hype beat that is going on, Lecrae sounds good. And I'm not saying, I'm not discrediting Lecrae in any sense, or word, or whatever you want to call it, uh, sense of the, any sense of the imagination, but Tadashi where he puts it over the edge and just nails every bit of the song, the chorus, the um, like the regular just rapping part, like everything. If it is, I guess it's the chorus, but I guess both Lecrae and Tadashi are in it. So pretty interesting, but um, that is, I think that's personally his biggest song of all time, and I don't think it'll be changed anywhere soon. Uh, although there is a f close second behind that is off his latest album, which came out in 2019, so it's quite a while. It's been about three years. I'm going to look up when Neverfold came out. It came out, I think, in March of 2019. Let me take a quick look. March 8th of 2019. And this album is by far his most, like, has the most banger songs on it. Like, the best songs from this album. Um, This includes, well, I personally love the entire album. I don't think there's a song I disliked on Spotify um, or don't have liked on Spotify. Oh, wait, never mind. I lied. I lied. 
there's two, my lifestyle and there's a heaven. But there's a heaven is very, it's like those two are like intro and uh, it's like the mid credit scene. You like in Marvel movies or whatever, you expect them to be like really, really good. But it's the end credit, like the end credit scene is what kills it. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's really good. Except for No Way Home, but that's a whole different side story. Well, you can check that out on my other podcast with my friend Brandon, uh, Marvel Mania. So if you want to learn about more about Spider-Man, No Way Home, or any other Marvel thing, go check that out. But for now, we're talking about Tadashi and CHH as a whole. Sorry about that. But also, one more, one more quick side note. Um, on this podcast, I have released some songs of my own. I, and you can check out the rest of the songs of, by me on uh, my sp- SoundCloud, G-R-E-T, G-R-E-T-T. So my name, just shortened down. Um, and I abs- I, I'm not a big fan of what I do because I criticize myself way too much. But I love the constructive criticisms to my song songs. Uh, I have three right now. I have Feeling Cheated. I have Goodbye, which is one I had to re-upload because it's just technical difficulties. And same with Feeling Cheat, I'd re-upload that as well. And then I have Angel. Um, they all, they're like pretty sad, dark songs, but it's I use it for therapeutic reasons. So I definitely recommend checking that out as well. So if you're interested in, I guess, new upcoming artists or not upcoming, however you want to look at it, because I don't think I'm very good uh i'd check those out so head on over to gret on soundcloud and i'd really appreciate it uh just give me a like or something i don't know <laughs> anyways going back to tadashi one more time uh, his runner up for second biggest or biggest song is gotta live with jordan believe this song is currently almost 11 million streams on uh, spotify and Oh my gosh, it is so good. I absolutely love Jordan Police kills the chorus and the um the the parts he's in. I'm trying to think of is he in another I think he's just in the chorus, but he does a great job and his voice with Tadashi's actually flows really well together. And I was quite shocked because Jordan Police is more like mellow hype not hype, um mellow popish sound. Uh where Tadashi is more like goes hard in almost every single one of his songs like get out my way god flex dumb dumb songs like those um which ironically get out my way and god flex are both in his never full album that was like i said the most released the most recent album excuse me and i believe um yeah get out my way is currently his number one song on or number one most listened to song at the current moment in time on Spotify. Then goes Not Gotta Live. And then there's a song that shocked me for how big it is right now called Home. It's with Crowder. Um, and I, I I loved this song right when the album came out. It was probably my favorite off the album. Um, maybe at the time after Godflex. But that was also a single. So I might have just been hy- hyped up about that. And then when it moved into the rest of the album, I was like, this song is really good. I am a big Crowder fan. Always have been. I like the raspiness to his voice. Um, but I thought when he came out with the song, I'm like, wait, it's with Crowder? Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. We got to listen to it. And I was not disappointed to say the least. I was actually, it exceeded my expectations, which I was not expecting in a song such as this. And it's less on the hype style, hype style of his. It's more mellow. It's more soothing. It's more relaxing. But Tadashi and Crowder are an incredible combo. I was not, I mean, I, sh- I should have known that. They both have deep, powerful voices. But one's raspy, like a more, I guess, of a um, pop country type of sound, which is Crowder. And then Tadashi, you, just norm- you normally hear him hitting hard, especially off this album with, like I said, Get Out My Way, God Flex. Uh, I guess you could, oh, what's, another, what's another good banger song that i'm thinking like it really goes hard i'm thinking of oh splash son of sam um won't bring me down so smile all these songs hit really hard and tashi's really good at that so 
when I heard that he's come out with the song with Crowder, I'm like, oh no, this won't sound good. Um, and then it exceeded my expectations and more, like I was saying. I got okay for it. I wouldn't say it wasn't gonna be good. I said it was gonna be good. It still exceeded my expectations, like I am saying. Anyways, going back to more songs, uh, Godflex, like I mentioned, is with Triple E. And I was so excited for the song because at this time, Trip Lee hadn't released anything since 2016. Um, and I mean, he might release, I think he released one single that, that was Trip Lee's, and that was it. It was just one single. So I'm like, oh no, he's, he's gonna kill it. He's so good. You haven't heard him in forever. He's been doing all of his pastoral things. He's wrote a book. He's done all of this insane, really, things that I know he's proud of. But, um, just, Seeing Trip Lee come back was what made me really excited about this song. And personally, I think he's the one, the reason why the song is so good uh, is because he really hit him. And, I mean, Tadashi sounds great. I'm not going to take any credit away from Tadashi. But being the huge Trip Lee fan I am and just hearing him come back was incredible to me. And he did not disappoint. Uh, and when the song was released, it was his first single off this album. I was like, oh, this, when I heard it, I'm like, this album is going to be fire. It's going to be so good. It's going to be worth every second of the long wait we were waiting for. I think the last album he released was, at this point, was in 2016. It was 2016 with um, this time around with songs such as uh, no, 808 and uh, what's the real, it's a huge one. I'm blanking so hard, guys. I am so sorry. Uh Give me one sec. <laughs> wow. I am. Don't know why. What am I thinking of? Jumped out the whip. Excuse me. That was bad. That was really bad. I'm good is on there. Be me. I get it. Um, with the song, I get it. <laughs> but oh, I can't believe I, I can't believe I didn't think of jumped out. My, jumped out the whip. That's was his biggest time. Maybe after Dum Dum. Oh, that's, a, that's a little embarrassing. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I am a huge Tadashi fan. Um, will always be a diehard a 116 fan. So uh, Tadashi having that nostalgic factor plus the fact that he is good. He is a great rapper. Uh, really excites me. And to see him come out with a new song, new-ish song. It came back out in uh, the 2021 summertime playlist that Reach Records release has been releasing since 2018. Uh, I'm excited about the 2022 one because with all these new artists coming out, such as Halvey, uh, well, we had we had Indie Tribe release a song called Team back in this one, which was very good. But Tadashi dropped two, Lights in the City, and I think it's called, oh, what's it called? I'm blanking so hard. Never Give Up. I think the better of the two is Lights in the City. I personally love the vibiness to it. If that's a word. Um, and it's featuring... I don't think it's featuring... It's featuring someone, but it's not... The name is not said on Spotify. So if you anyone knows the actual name of this person, I would love to know. Because uh, he does sound really good, but Tadashi just kills it. He absolutely kills it. He has a... Sing, he does like a singing voice. and Or a singing rap mixture, like a rap pop or something whatever you want to call it does a great job with it so i was a big fan i know my girlfriend uh was a huge fan of this song and she'll be featured in one of the new coming podcasts when i talk about nf finally uh it's been, <laughs> i know it's been a long time coming but nf will be talked about pretty soon here uh with the next upcoming weeks i just have to get her into the studio which is always a hard thing because our schedules don't align very well on weekdays, and the studio is only open on the weekdays. So, again, I want to thank ONTV, um, the Orion Neighborhood Television Network, for renting the, for letting me use the podcast studio. But, like I said, it's hard to get people in. So, I'll have, I will have guests featured. It'll probably be over FaceTime or Zoom or any of those, but they will be on the uh, show at some point. So, Going back to Tadashi, um, well, I wanted to have I wanted to have someone featured in this podcast because that's why I waited so long to have a podcast about Christian hip hop that wasn't my music because I've been trying to find someone to feature in and I just haven't gotten that person yet. 
So, um, like I want, I, I want my friend Jack, who loves Trip Lee, he loves Lecrae, all those guys. I want my friend Peter. I want uh a couple local rappers that I know, um, through like my church or uh, wherever. Um, City Light, not City Light. Well, as that's church. Um, Living Army, which is a church worship center, I guess, if you want to call it, in Lake Warren, Michigan. It is incredible. I love what the people are doing. Cody Wilson um, started up this church, uh, or ministry, there we go, ministry, and it is incredible. So if you are interested in talk, in learning about worship, uh, apologetics, uh, evangelism, mostly evangelism, and worship, I would definitely recommend going to um, Living Army at 20 Front Street. Uh, if you're a young adult, on Tuesday nights at 7. And if you are uh, really any age, Wednesday nights, I believe, at 6. Or you can check out their Facebook page at Living Army. In Facebook and Instagram at Living Army. Okay. I keep getting sidetracked, and I know that. I am sorry. But this, I was, how I want to phrase this. I was working on, so Lake Orion on TV is hosting their annual food drive that they've been doing for the last 12 years. And they want me to operate the camera. So operate the camera and help them out, like schedule things up and be a host for a couple things. So it's been hard for me to get, <laughs> to write a script. So I'm kind of going off everything I want to talk about as it comes, which is pretty bad. Don't recommend doing that. It's not a good way to put out a podcast, put out your production or any of that. But I forgot I'd go for it. I'm like, I'm in the studio anyways. Why not just try? So hope that's the last sidetrack, but we'll see. Anyways, on Tadashi. Uh, Lights in the City is just incredible. Um, and then I think so I'm looking at Spotify right now. If you can like to see him on, on Spotify. And now the Wi-Fi wants to pop up. But his his music is insane. Um my girlfriend's favorite song by him is um called Us with Juan or Juan. Honestly, I'm assuming it's Juan, but I've heard so many different name people pronounce it different ways that I just don't know anymore. Anyways, um I really want to play it for you guys, but I I don't have copyright permission, and I'm really sad about that. It would get cut out of the show, but and actually probably shut the show down. So I'm like, uh, we'll hold off a little bit. Uh, recently, I've gotten a couple emails. I've sent out a couple emails to different uh, Christian rappers, such as So and Zonti, to use their music in my podcast. But it's hard to get them to stay on track when you know there's nothing going on so i'm borrowing a uh theme that i appreciate for uh, just like a free streaming music fee or whatever so pretty cool um that's what that's what the opening and closing of my podcast is but um i'm trying to get so i'm really he's emailed me back so we're we're working on it we're getting there um but Tashi has come out with, I think, six studio albums. Let me see. One, two, three, four, six studio albums. Okay. I'm on top of it. There we go. So Kingdom People, Identity Crisis, Black Light, which I believe is the second biggest, Below Paradise, This Time Around, and Neverfold. So my favorite of all these albums is Neverfold because I am basic. Uh, I'm a basic Tashi fan. Um, but my favorite song, like I said, is Home. But close second is his fifth biggest on Spotify with Sarah Reeves called Step Into Love. Uh, this song is, again, like a mellow pop-ish type vibe. And he does a fantastic job with this song. Uh, there's no other way to put it. Uh, although this whole album, I'm, just lo I'm looking at these songs like uh, God Flex I have liked. Get Out My Way I have liked. Liked Son of Sam I have liked. Home. Splash 2, which is Splash 1 was a single, and that was a very good single too, uh, with that. Um let me do, what else? Diamonds, Step into Love, like I said, Gotta Live, like I said, Hold Me Down, which is probably my third favorite song, another pop-ish. 
I love the banger songs, but Tadashi does go, do a great job with his pop pop rap. And oh, it's so fun. Smile is a good song. She was another single, but it was released way before the album was even announced. Uh, All in Love, which I like the song. Um, can't remember how the lyrics go. Same with Full Effect and Won't Bring Me Down. And there's a song called It Is Well, which I do not have liked. Um, and the, I remember listening to it and I was just thinking, eh, it's okay. So, but Never Fold, I think it's his best album, followed by Blacklight with songs like Riot, Need It Daily, um, Get Up, which has SO, and SO and Tadashi have very similar styles and voices. So that, that song flows very, very well. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, you Know What It Is with KB and PK. Uh, finally, this song is not, not, finally is the song name. Let me explain that real quick. Finally is with an artist called Shane and Shane, or a band called Shane and Shane. And they're amazing. I love it. It's a, more of a worship band, but I absolutely love what they've been doing. Uh, my friend Peter, um, who will, I will try to get on the show. He's currently going to Liberty University. Um, he is a huge fan of Shane and Shane and worship as a whole. But he's also a big fan of Christian rap, which is why I want to get him on the show. But FaceTime is something I need to do with him because I'm in Michigan. He's in Virginia. It doesn't work very well. Uh, and then the biggest song off this album, of course, Dum Dum. So that's a great album. Um, my third favorite is probably This Time Around uh, because of Jumped Out the Whip. That song just gets me every time. It gets me in my feels. It gets me in the hype mode. It's so good. Um, the music video is hilarious. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, there, it's a bunch of people driving in a car uh, after someone announces um, this is Sashi's newest song, Dum Dum, or not Dum Dum, uh, Jumped Out the Whip. Um, and they even have like other rappers in it, um, like Galvi's in it, um, before he was even considered a rapper at this point, because Galvi didn't, Galvi didn't come up with anything until late 2016, and this came out March 4th of 2016. So if you see a trend, his albums like to come out in March. <laughs> But Jump Out the Whip is my favorite by that in by him off this album. Then I'm Good um, is my second favorite. I get it. Be Me and 808 are like tied for third. They're they're all neck and neck in there. Um, so song I recommend checking out on this time around for sure. If you haven't checked out Jump Out the Whip, definitely recommend checking that out. But um, probably ooh, it's hard. I'm Good has, like, a Hawaiian feel to it, or, like, really, it's really vibey, like, giving that, the whole, it gets you, it's like one of those happy songs, where you just listen to it, and you're like, this is nice, I like this, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but, um, yeah, definitely check out I'm Good, and then the last one is Be Me, and, oh, I wish I could play some of these, just a quick snippet, I'll, uh, I'll put, I can try, no, I'm not even going to bother. It, it was get cut out, so. Um, my fourth favorite by him is Below Paradise. And this album I have, like, like um, Neverfull, I have mostly liked. Um, Angels and Demons with Crowder. That's why, that's part of the reason why I thought it would be so good. Um, like, the song with Crowder, Home, would be so good. It's because I've heard the song, I'm like, oh, that is really good. Uh, I'm just blown away by the quality of the song. And actually, all of his songs have really good quality. None of them are... None, almost none of them are standout. The one standout is Nothing I Can't Do by Lecrae, Tadashi, and Trip Lee. It's Tadashi's song. But Trip Lee, I think, is what makes the song. Um, Actually, I think it's Trip Lee, then Lecrae, and then Tadashi. Even though it is a Tadashi song. Um, yeah, Trip Lee, just his chorus, it's so good. And it's it, like the beat of the song and Trip Lee were like made for each other. I don't know how else to describe it. it they were just made for each other. And he sounds so good. Lecrae, uh, always, he always puts out something productive and really solid. Um, so I can't, I can't complain about Lecrae. 
And Tadashi, just, you know, he sounds good. He, I've, never, I've never really complained about Tadashi's songs. That's the weird thing. So, like, I don't think any of his songs are super standout besides, maybe, like, there's like a handful of songs that are super standout. But for the most part, he's just a solid artist. So, love hearing Nothing I Can't Do. Uh, Catch Me If You Can with Andy Minio is great. Um, Perfect with Cam Parker uh, is great. Uh, Dark Days, Darker Nights with an old artist uh, who I haven't heard anything from in a long time since she's been married, Britt Nicole. Um, she's come out with a couple of big songs such as uh, Can You Hold Me with NF, which, let's be honest, if you come out with a song with NF, you're already, you're set because you never get featured with it in an NF song. I think there's, I think one Christian rapper that I can think of those featured with him, and that was Marty of Social Club Misfits. Oh, no, he has another song with Flame before he was considered NF. Or right... Was it before he was... I think it was when he was considered Nate uh, Firestein uh, originally. Um, so, all... What is it called? It's called... Um, Start Over uh, by Flame featuring NF. So, that's the no, that's a NF side note. But, um, Britt Nicole is in um, Dark Days, Darker Nights. Which I... Love that song. That's one of my favorites. Paradise with Torn Wells. Right after he left um uh Royal Taylor. Uh if you if you haven't heard of Torn Wells, you don't listen to Christian music pretty much. Like that's that's basically the extent of it. He is one of the closest things to a big pop Christian artist that there is. I mean, there's I think there's only like a handful of bigger ones than him, and that would be like Toby Mac. For King and Country, Lauren Daigle, uh, Hillsong, everything, <laughs> like all the Hill songs, uh, maybe Elevation, maybe Maverick City Music, but they're worship artists. Like these are the ones I mentioned were pop artists. Um, so like the, they're just competing with like the best of the best. So pretty cool. Um, if I'm missing anyone like really big time, uh, pop artists, just let me know. Um, and this, this, this one's gonna play, uh, when. Blah, 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 blah. When this gets uploaded to YouTube, let me know in the comments below another you what your favorite uh, uh Christian artist, pop artist is, and I will probably comment on that. Just saying, hey, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Love that artist. Um, the comment would be under G Ret, as that is my uh YouTube, but uh, it should be uploaded to ONTV on uh, or Orion Neighborhood Television. Uh, within the next coming, within the upcoming days. Uh, and then we have Angels and Demons, like I said, with Crowder. And then uh, my other like, my last liked song is Complicated with Kristen Gray, who is another rapper, uh, gospel artist we'll be talking about within the upcoming months. Because if, you, if you've heard of him, you've heard of the song um, like Time Out, for example, or um, what's the other big one? <laughs> Um, dude, I have been blanking so hard. Uh, Kristen Gray, what is it called? Oh, stop me, open door. Those songs, follow you. Um, those are like the big. Those are his biggest, and they're they're big songs. Um, uh, when he was found by uh, Kirk Franklin, who I'm sure you've all heard of. Uh, you would recognize. You recognize. You would recognize that he is a good artist. Uh, and then last song I just want to touch on is Make War by Tadashi off of his Identity Crisis album. And that whole album is very average to me. That and Kingdom People. Uh, I never got into Kingdom People because it was before my time. I'm not the biggest like mid to early 2000s rap fan. I know I'm probably like criticized a lot of people because like that's the best version of rap there is. Like Eminem, Dr. Dre, um, Tupac, all these guys. And I'm like, I just I can't get into their music. Um, but even early Lecrae, I'm not a big fan of. There's a couple songs by him, like Jesus Music and um Take Me As I Am or Praying For You. It was like the three songs by Lecrae I liked before uh Rebel. And that's it. I liked the style of what they looked like, but I wasn't a big fan of that era of music. Anyways, that's all I got for today. I appreciate you all listening to the show, and I will see you next time.